So, uh, Camp Flogna, Tyler, the Creator's um, event, his uh, uh, music event, happened a few days ago. And DJ Mustard was on the set list. And uh, he went right at Drake again. He not done with him. No, he not done with him, bro. And I would say, like, it is whatever, it is what it is. If Dr I would say, like, all right, Mustard, whatever, whatever. For But there's two reasons I'm not going to. One, Not Like Us is his song. And he produced this, so he gonna, let, he gonna rock with that. I'm not mad at him. He gonna push that every time he can. And two, Drake hasn't stopped. So when you pop up at DeMar DeRozan's, when you doing those speeches, yeah, you're gonna remind people and there's going to be some people you rub the wrong way, you know, especially when a dude's playing for L.A. And they're going to be like, oh, it's still up? Okay, watch this. So, that's how I can understand it. We looking at DJ Mustard's set, the Mustard and Friends. We're also seeing the, the, we're watching the stream version too, so it's gonna have the chat. So don't worry about that. That's. Oh, he played the whole clip from the fifth L. Wait, not the fifth L. Sixth Sense. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. Bro, the way the crowd went, the, the, the crowd pop on I See Dead People is like, man, this song, not like us. Obviously, the Hip Hop Civil War, I keep saying one of the greatest moments in hip hop. <laughs> hip hop is a sport. Hold on. You know, we got the hoodies available right now. Yeah, you know I mean, go get them at fromthevillage.us or you can get the They Not Like Us. Ugh. Hip hop is a sport t shirts, they're available. I'll put the link in the pinned comment, all from the village.us. But um, I'm glad, no matter what you feel about this battle, there's gonna be some people, you know, the Drake stands that gotta pretend like this isn't what it is and gotta really do a lot of copium. But I'm telling you, y'all missing out. Hmm? And I know it's not gonna be like this when, when history tells us you're gonna be telling it a little different. Y'all missing out. This was a moment. This is. One of the top 10 hip hop moments was this battle. And no matter what side you, you want to fall on it, I'm glad that we was here to witness this in real time. Facts. Facts. Hip hop has been hip hop in this year. They don't know they're dead. Oh, that hits way more. Oh, he let the whole thing play. This whole thing is trolling Drake, by the way. But he's letting it play out the way it's playing out. And the, the skit, I mean, the, the because it actually is speaking more to what's going on. I saw this at the pop-out with Mustard. When Mustard came to Vegas, I saw him do this. So, Oh, they're asking for Kendrick. Devote any rap nigga, he a free throw man, damn, call the ambulance. Never nigga took a cross, he walk around like Tizo. No, what? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Some of y'all tried to act like, uh, not like, bro. <laughs> what niggas gotta stop doing? Uh, let me just give advice to, to the Drake stands that are trying their hardest. And I'm a Drake fan, I'm just not a stan. <laughs> Let just let this go. Cause I see y'all try to, to you keep trying this narrative of uh, nobody's when it seems like not like us isn't people aren't talking about it. Uh, nobody's this is not like us, and then something like this happens. Even though not like us is broken history records is one of the crazy. Just leave it alone, bro. You're not. It's already where it is in hip hop. It's not going no more in culture. People using not like us now all the time. Like, come on, bro. I'm John Stockton. Beat it out of Bible. Yeah, sometimes you gotta. Certified. I'm the one off the scope with him. 
Nah. And it's crazy because every time I hear this song, it gets me just as hyped as the first time I heard it. Boy, I'm up now. Yo, they not like us t-shirts at from the village that US, huh? Hmm? Go grab them. Link in the pinned comment, bro. Yeah, nah. Oh my God, bro. This song is a problem. And I I know this gotta be hot and drink. I get it. I know, like. That's why I said the, with the way he's doing with the DeRozan and the crashing out and how he's, it seems like Drake's just like, nah, I'll just be the bad guy. I get it. Because when you got one of these against you, we're not even, let's not even talk about Euphoria and Meet the Gram. This? There is no song that Drake did in this battle that has the reverence of this song. You know what I mean? I think Drake did a great job, though. He lost, but I think he... The fight, I respect him for fighting. Facts. We don't have to lose respect for Drake. I mean, you can if that's what you feel. I didn't. Of course, it. Bully Defro on him. Hey, Drake. I heard you like him young. You better not to sell block one, nigga. And you in love? Just make sure you hide your little sister from me. Hey. The only one to get your hemi down. And party after party, playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird case. Why you still around, son of a Bro, you know this is one of them. I'm over here feeling like I'm I'm live, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I don't know if this is in the clip, but I also heard that he was playing a song that he did with Drake and he cut out Drake's part. I can't remember what it was. And then play this. That's what I heard. Oh, my goodness. Nah, bro. Imagine trying to, like, having to try to convince yourself you don't like this song. Man. Listen, Jay-Z. Y'all know the reverence I got for Hove. Y'all know that. Huh? But ether is ether, gang. <laughs> I do think the beat of ether is awful. But as a battle song, ether is ether, gang. And you know how much of a wild hater I will look like? How much of a, a, a unhinged stand I'll look up like, man, Ether ain't even all that. Now the beat, I don't like the beat. I've been in, I've been on record saying that that's one of the worst beats ever. But the song, come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker, goddamn, we gotta do that again. Lift me up, 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 lift me up. I gotta see everybody. And Drake, like I said, bro. I gotta see everybody. People can you it's 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 it, this is this is this is kind of your fault, gang. Now, Mustard was gonna do this regardless. But after the DeRozan shit, it's it's you doing a lot of stuff that's gonna keep people keep that's what I said when I reacted to that. That whole DeRozan Drake. I said, what Drake's gonna do is going to keep having this energy pushed against them. With the top five, the, the 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 speech he made about fake friends, the DeRozan, which I all understand on a spiral crash out type thing, but like it's bad. Like you're gonna keep having these people go against you. Like, oh, okay, really? So you want you want to do that with the LA King? Not you, and you want to DeRozan? All right, watch this. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna keep retaliating. Any rap nigga, he a free throw man. Damn, call the ambulance. Tell him he walk around like Tizo, nigga. Trying to see Compton. Come on in there, mama. I mean, there's too many options. But the lyrics, the greatest part about all of, and the Dodgers winning too. Like, come on, bro. The Dodgers winning, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just a bad one for Drake. And I, I'm gonna just let you know right now. If Kendrick does, I've been somebody who says he doesn't have to do not like us at the Super Bowl. I would love for him to do it, but he doesn't have to. But if he does, I think we're going to hear the loudest pop we've ever heard at a Super Bowl shit, which is crazy because we saw Prince literally make it rain purple. So, I'm just saying. Sometimes you got to pop out and show, uh, certify Boogie, man. I'm the one up the skull with him. I know we got to... Pull on them, extortion, bully, death row them. Hey, Drake, I heard you like them, y'all. You been there, every couple of cells, block one. Woo! And they in love. Just make sure you hide your little 
Dog, they're rapping every word, man. A party after party, playing with us. And Baka got a weird case. Why are you still around? I'm going to do my stuff. Ain't you tired? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. As a performer, as a rapper, as an entertainer, see, uh, goose bumps. You can't. How do you watch this and not? Like, even if I was on some super Drake standing, da, 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 which I always say, like, that's why I say I still got respect for Drake for the battle. Like, I think my, res my I know my respect for Drake went up because he jumped in that square circle. Huh? Come here. Come here. Uh, uh, uh. You know, there's some times when, mm, after uh, 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 push ups, mm, we thought he put blood in Kendrick's mouth. It don't matter that Euphoria came, and let's not rewrite history. Drake put up a little fight. Now, Euphoria came through and, and shut the building down. He burnt the building down. But, come on now. <laughs> Drake was fighting. But nothing will ever allow me to watch any type of moment like this and be upset. I've seen Drake live too. Great performer, bro. Great. When he sat down, he had the hologram of him as a kid. Insanity. Insanity. But moments like Kendrick ain't even here. And it's like his energy is in there. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Disrespect like God, nigga. Yo, the Oakland show gonna be your last stop, nigga. I don't know why you still pretending. Bird is a bird, bitches. Go. That is one thing where that's one lyric that aged bad for Kendrick. To me, that was Kendrick's one flaw. That lyric, the audience ain't dumb. Oh boy, are the audience dumb as shit. <laughs> Well, there's a good portion of them are what? But yeah, I, yeah, he was saying, you know, most of the audience ain't done. But come to find out. But I promise. And you know who's most wanted, nigga. Later, something. I had this bitch jumping. That wedgie flipped over your boxers line lands way different after that YG Prem thing. I ain't even, I ain't even cover it. But, I mean, I mean. <laughs> Yo, option. Let's see. Ooh, I like that little sample. That little, the little, he making this, he taking us to church when he threw in the back. The Wayne girl when he was, that's kind of it. Apologizing. What? It's crazy how all of this shit is aging. Oh my, the D Rose line. Lot of mercy, bro. I genuinely say this too, where I said Kendrick was just preparing for this battle for his entire career, his entire career. And I think he caught Drake off guard, which is kind of Drake's fault because after Control, Drake, I think Drake knew what was up but in his head, never thought it would actually get to a point where they're back. Because if you go back to Control, he Drake's a battle nigga. Let's not take that away from him, bro. He is a battle rap nigga. He is, bro. He's a part of the battle rap culture, if you know battle rap. So he was talking about, like, yeah, if we really go battle back in Control, let's make it a real thing. I need to know if it's real. I just don't know if it's real. I think in his head, he never wanted to battle Kendra because maybe, da, da 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 I don't know. But he came off a little unprepared to me because it felt like, boy, if you niggas have had this Cold War for as long as y'all have, which y'all have, either you didn't play it as serious as Kendrick did or you didn't stop and go throughout these years like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally chronologic. I'm going to put that in my head, all right? Just in case, just in case we ever, we ever got to jump out the window. Let me get my parachute ready. It felt like Kendra got a parachute and Drake just jumped. <laughs> That's what it felt like. I lean on them niggas like I'm in line of walk. Yeah, la la I mean, I'ma set up the fire. And I never passed the hospital. He's a 69 guy, nigga. Let us stay the ass inside. 
Nigga, freaky ad nigga need to stay their ass inside might as well have been the quote of 2024. Freaky ad nigga need to stay their ass inside. Cat Williams started it off. Cat Williams' interview with Shannon was basically him saying, hey, you freaky nigga need to stay your ass inside. And then Kendrick let niggas know, hey, you freaky, and bro, the freaky niggas was targeted this year, weren't they? <laughs> Let's keep this energy going. Feels like hip hop is back, nigga. Must it? They not like. I thought it started over. Bum. Bum. Tell the story. Crazy. Yeah. Nigga made a hit record, rapping, rapping, diss record. He did a lot, bro. He did a lot. And like I said, Drake was rapping, rapping too. Don't get that twisted. But just. It wasn't this. It wasn't this. You got the same agenda. Run to Atlanta with check balance, the whole thug thing. And then now it's like Kendrick did this thing where there was no option for Drake. He was playing chess. He king Drake a long time ago. And J Drake didn't realize it because there's no move Drake does. Because let's say... Drake uh, comes back after this Young Thug thing. Like, Young Thug brings Drake back with a hit. It's going to look crazy. Because, you know, damn well, this going to be the narrative. So, Drake damn near need to catch a big one before he catch one with Thug. For real. Because then it's also going to change the dynamic. And it's fully going to train people to thinking that Young Thug is now where Drake used to be. If Drake needs Young Thug to save him when before Drake was the stimmy pack. That's Kendrick just covered all his bases with this. Damn. Thug let you think you a slime in your head. But he lied. You are the colonizer. Rest in peace to young Nipsino, King Nipsey, bro. Rest in peace to the God, man. God body, bro. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Go. Freaky ass nigga, he 69 got. Freaky ass nigga, he has 69 got. Hey, 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 Rafa, you're not. This must have felt, this must have, it, this must have been what it felt like to be around when Hit 'em Up dropped. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe because this is breaking number things that hit him up didn't do. So, hey, oh, yo, say, oh, damn, oh, my God. 